Hey guys, the objectives of this video are to review the scalar vector concept and to distinguish between scalars and vectors. So we'll start off by just having a look at scalars and vectors. So what I've just got written here are the basic definitions of scalars and vectors. So a scalar um, is defined as being a magnitude and a vector is, de is defined as being a magnitude with a direction. So effectively what this means is that a scalar is going to just be a number um, or some kind of uh, units and a vector is going to be um, some kind of uh, magnitude that is also pointing in a certain direction. So if you have a magnitude and you haven't specified which direction um, that magnitude is heading towards or coming from, uh, then you've got a scalar and if it does have a direction um, and if you need a direction for it to make sense, then it's going to be a vector. So if we just look at this diagram here, um, you can see that we have a vector here. We have a vector AB, um, and it's acting at an angle theta to this uh, um, x-axis. And if we were to work out the scalar of this, all we're going to do is we're going to take off. We're going to work out the magnitude. So we'll just take basically the absolute value um, of the total length of this vector is going to be the scalar magnitude. And if we were to write it in a vector notation, we would need to include both the magnitude and the direction which it's traveling in. So we would have to be including um, this theta somewhere in our definition. And we'll be seeing how we, um, how we do this in the later videos. So we'll just have a quick look at some examples of scalars. So examples of scalars that we'll be using quite a lot in... Um, 